Welcome to the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll walk you through a straightforward, step-by-step -step method for calculating pipe length and elbow angles in a double rolling pipeline. Thank you so much to all our members and subscribers for your amazing support. It really makes a difference. If you're interested in supporting our educational mission further, feel free to check out the membership options linked in the description below. All right, let's dive into today's lesson and get started. We need to find the length of the pipe piece between two elbows in this pipeline. To find the length of the pipe piece between two elbows in a pipeline, we need to know the following steps. First, we will calculate overall length, center to center distance of the two elbows. Then, we will calculate length of the elbows, takeoff dimensions. At last, Subtract the takeoff lengths of the elbows from the total center to center distance. The formula can be expressed as pipe length equals overall length minus 2 times elbow length minus 2 times cap length for welding. Let's perform all these operations on the 3D model of the pipeline step by step. To find the overall length of this pipeline, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's mark the overall length and the center to center distance of elbows with L. So, the square of the overall length, L, will be equal to the square of 990 plus the square of 618. Using a calculator, we calculate that the square of 990 will equal 980,100 and the square of 618 will equal 381,924. So, we continue to calculate that L squared will equal 980,100 plus 381,924. Using the calculator again, we find that 980,100 plus 381,924 equals 1,362,024. Thus, the square of L will equal 1362024. Using the scientific calculator to find L free of the square root, L equals 1,167. So, we calculated and found that the overall length and the center to center distance between the two elbows equal 1167 millimeters. Let's calculate the elbow degree for these dimensions on this pipeline. To find the elbow degree, we will use the trigonometric function. So, if we denote this angle as x, then x degrees will be equal to the arc tangent of 618 divided by 990. Using a scientific calculator again, the arc tangent of 618 divided by 990 will equal approximately 32 degrees. So, we calculated and found that the cutting angle of these elbows is 32 degrees on the 6 inch pipeline. Now we should find the length of the 6 inch. 32 degree elbow. We will use this formula to find the length of the elbow. The elbow length will equal the tangent of elbow angle divided by 2 times 1.5 times the nominal pipe size NPS of the elbow multiplied by 25.4. Now we will substitute our elbow angle and nominal pipe size into this formula. So, our elbow length will equal the tangent of 32 divided by 2 times 1.5 times 6 multiplied by 25.4. Using a scientific calculator, the tangent of 32 divided by 2 times 1.5 times 6 multiplied by 25.4 will equal approximately 66 millimeters. So, we calculated and found that the length of the 6 inch 32 degree elbow is 66 millimeters in this pipeline. Also, from our other videos, we learned that during fit up, a small gap is required for welding. It should be approximately 3 to 4 millimeters. Now, I will show you a small fragment in practice, demonstrating how to set the fit up gap for welding.
Please watch it so you can get an idea of the gap in the fit up. This gap is necessary for a good root weld. We wrote the following formula earlier in this video. Pipe length equals the overall length, center to center distance minus 2 times the takeoff length of the elbow minus 2 times the caps for welding. Now, we will substitute our overall length, elbow lengths, and welding gap information into this formula. Pipe length equal the overall length 1167 minus 2 times the elbow length 66 and minus 2 times 3 for the caps for welding. Using a calculator, 1167 minus 2 multiplied by 66 minus 2 multiplied by 3 equals 1029. So, we calculated and found that the length of this red colored pipe between the two elbows is 1029 millimeters. By using this method, you can easily calculate the pipe lengths and elbow angles of pipe sections for your desired pipelines. This educational video is coming to an end. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. By becoming a channel member, you'll be supporting our work and gaining access to exclusive perks. A big thank you in advance to everyone who leaves a comment or a like. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.